Hello and welcome. This time we want to see how to calculate the, the body plot, yeah? how to calculate the frequency response. I will simply use the same formula like last time. So I will use this system. Yeah? This time I will write, let's say, 3 divided by 1 plus 0.1s. That's my system. Yeah? So I transfer it to j omega, which means we have 3 divided by 1 plus 0 0.1 j omega. What is 3 divided by 1 plus j omega 0 0.1? Okay. Now I simply calculate for different omegas. I simply calculate for different omegas, different values. Yeah? So if I look at my body plot uh, I've prepared, here we start at 0 0.001. Okay. Let's simply use this. Yeah? So we do have omega. We use 0 0.0001. 0 0.001. 0 0.01. 0 0.01. 1, 1, 10, 100, 1000. Now well, let's see where we let's see where we end up. Here we will use the absolute value. And here we are going to write the argument. And if you have a fancy calculator like me, yeah, if you have a fancy calculator like me, then we will, uh, you can simply calculate this. Yeah? So we are, we are uh, changing to, to complex, complex calculating. Yeah? Okay, we have. Yeah? And we want to have it, we want to have it uh, in numbers. Yeah? So we want to have it in an absolute value and argument. Okay? It also adjusted. This is good. So I simply have to enter the formula. Yeah? So this is 3 divided by 1 plus i multiplied by 0 0.1 and now omega 0 0.0001 let's calculate okay so this is absolute value minus ah 3 yeah, plus 3 here oh <laughs> this is really hidden yeah and this is already this is already the argument yeah it's minus 5.8 minus 4 Pooh, degree almost zero okay now zero to zero one okay here we have also 2.999 something so three and argument minus five dot seven minus three also pretty small zero one again three but we see it's getting it's getting lower two nine 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 it's not that much nine now and here ooh, here we have already some reaction minus zero dot zero six degree Zero to one. Still, still three. Yeah. Minus zero dot six, zero dot five seven degree. One. Ah, now we start to drop here. Nine nine. 
minus 5.71 degree 10 2.12 minus 45 okay 100 uh -huh. 0 0.29 9 and minus 84 degree and 1000 0 0.03 and minus 89.4 degree so where we would be still be interesting I would say maybe five, yeah. So let's calculate it with five. Five. Oops. Uh -huh. I have to enter it again. Three divided by one plus. Here it and multiplied by five. Uh huh. E into okay, so we have two dot six, two dot six eight, and we have minus twenty six, minus twenty six dot six degree. And where it would also be interesting, I would say fifty, so calculated with fifty as well, and fifty. We will end up zero dot five, zero dot five nine, and minus seventy eight, minus seventy eight dot six nine degree. Okay. This is our table. This is our table. Now let's enter this in our body plot. Okay. Here's our body plot. Okay. 0 0.01 yeah. we are at plus 3 so we'll draw it there plus 3 1 2 3 we are here at 0 0.01 we add plus 3 at 0 0.1 we add plus 3 we add plus 3 yeah. here we are at 2.99 so maybe here at 5 we are at 2.68 1 2 so we are here somewhere at 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we are here somewhere, at 10, we are 2.1, so we are here, yeah. at 50, we are 0 0.5, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 0 0.5, somewhere here, ah, 0 0.5, somewhere, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, somewhere here, here we are, okay, then at 100 we are at 0 0.3 1, 2, 3, we are here yeah. at 1000 we are at 0 0.03 1, 2, 3, we are here yeah, at 10,000 we would be at 0 0.003 yeah. it's not calculated so this is our body plot yeah. it will look like this here we are almost flat. Here we will drop. And here we are also at a straight line. This is the body plot. Looks familiar because this is a PT1 element. This is why it looks that familiar. Now let's have a look on the angle. Here we are at minus zero, I would say. Here this is also minus zero. This is minus zero dot zero six. Ah, maybe we see it a little bit. Zero dot one, minus a half degree. Mm. Then one, minus five degree. This we see already. Then at five we are at minus 26. Yeah. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, here at minus 26, so we are here somewhere, yeah. At 100, we're at minus 45, at 10, we're at minus 45, here. At 50, we are at minus 78, 75, 78, 1, 20, 30, 40, 50, we are here somewhere. At 100, we're at minus 84, so here somewhere. And at 1000, we had minus 98, we are here. Okay, 10,000 would be here. How does it look like? That way. Here we stay up. Then we drop slowly. And here we change. To minus 90. Yeah. This simply comes out of this calculation. Yeah. Yeah. I have a depotal plot of a PT1 element. This is because this is the formula of a PT1 element. We will see. Yeah. Bode plot calculation. However, we cannot only show this in the Bode plot. We can also make a so-called Nyquist plot. Nyquist plot or in German What's what's curve? I will simply draw here something like this because this is absolute value on angle, and I can simply use I can simply use this in a diagram. One, two, three. This is zero minus one. This is the real axis, yeah, this is the real axis, and this is the imaginary axis. Okay. Let's see that we almost plus j minus j minus 2j. This is the imaginary axis. Real imaginary. Okay. This is one minus 1, minus 2, we have minus 1, we have 1, we have 2, we have 3. Okay. And now we can simply use the same table here. Same table. Yeah. So for omega 0 to 0, 1, we are at 3 and angle almost nothing. So we are here. Yeah. We will stay there. Here we are at minus a half degree and also 3. So I will try to draw this minus a half degree. I mean, it would be here. Yeah. And here, this is more interesting. 2.9 minus 5 degree. Yeah. So I will try to reach minus 5 degree. Yeah. And here. We are here. Yeah. So here we are omega equals 1. Okay. 1. And now 5 minus 26 degree minus 26 degree 20, 26. Something like this, and at 26 degree minus 26 degree, we have 2.6, 2.7. So one, two, here, here, here. Yeah. Here is omega equals five. Yeah. At omega 10, we have minus 45 and two dot one. Yeah. So minus 45. It's easy. 1, 2, 2.1, two we are here somewhere. Okay. Here we have omega equals 10. Okay. At 100 we have, oh, let's 50, minus 78, 
have 79, something like this, 78, 79, so we are 70, 78, 79 here, like this, and we have 0 0.6, so we are here somewhere, here this dot we would be at omega 50, yeah? And then we we'll get really low values because it's only 0 0.3 and minus 84. So minus 84 and 0 0.3. We are here somewhere. I use two centimeters by. Here we would be omega equals, what was this? 100. 100. And at 1000, yeah, we are almost, we are only 0 0.03, so we are almost there. Yeah? And in the end, we end up here. Yeah? Here would be omega unlimited. Yeah? And this is a typical Nyquist plot. It's the typical Nyquist plot of system first order. It's a half circle half circle here and here I make a line here's omega zero at the beginning omega 1 omega 5 omega 10 omega 50 100 and then book we are very small okay so this this over here this was called the Bode plot this was the Bode plot and this here is the Nyquist plot. Okay. These are the two options or the two variants we have when showing the frequency response. Both are equal because in both I see the absolute value and the phase. Okay. Here I see the absolute value. This would be for instance, at omega 5, this would be the absolute value here. Hmm. Absolute value. And here we see the phase. Hmm. Both in one diagram. This is sometimes useful when it comes to stability. We will talk about this then. Yeah? There's a Nyquist point and so on. This is why it's called Nyquist plot in English. Uh, we'll talk about this. But basically it's the same information that in the Bode plot. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's a short introduction or let's say, yeah, a short introduction to both variants, into the Nyquist plot mainly. Bode plot you know, Nyquist plot you know now. now. So, thank you very much for listening this time, here next time, goodbye.